Well, good afternoon, Canaan children and family, Canaan kids. Hopefully everybody's doing well this afternoon. I know uh, this morning we had kind of a little excitement. We had some rain come through. Um, you haven't heard. <clears throat> we have, um, I know here at the church we lost power. And then, of course, uh, 459 was shut down for a little while because the power lines are across the interstate. But I know power is being restored and they're cleaning up trees and everything around the Bessemer area. But hopefully everybody stayed safe during this time. And so, hope you guys have stayed safe. It looks like now that the rain has moved through the area, that everything's um, staying good. The sun's about to come out. It's a little cloudy outside. But I just went ahead and come come with you now just to come live to you like we've been doing the children's ministry moment with Brother Chuck. And today we're going to talk about our N3, what we normally do on Wednesday nights, the N3 music mission and message. And of course, right now we're doing the um, missions and message, which is a Bible drill. So we're going to be talking about that this afternoon. I have two special guests with me helping me do our next two games. So I just want you to be ready for that. I'm just waiting for more, a couple more people to get on here because this is going to require the audience participation. We're going to be doing a game <clears throat> entitled Missions Mystery Word Review. And that's going to be a review of what we did for our Annie Armstrong uh, questions that you had last week. And so we're going to have that review. I have two special helpers that I'll introduce here shortly. But it's going to require the audience to participate so we can figure out what to do next. And don't forget, right now you can always watch our videos here live on Facebook, but you can also watch them on YouTube. I'll post them on YouTube um, a little later today. Of course, right now there is no internet in our side of town at the moment. So probably once I get internet, I'll be able to download the YouTube video for those that missed the live to be able to participate <clears throat> in the live and watch it later on YouTube. So I just want you to make you aware of those things. And so we got <clears throat> a couple more people logging in. And like I said, hope everybody's doing well, staying safe, staying healthy, enjoying your time with your families and friends um, that you are in your neighborhood, at least be able to see them from a distance away. Or we, of course, you've been able to FaceTime and talk to each other. So I hope we've been able to do that during this time. So I'm going to travel down the hallway here. <clears throat> no, I don't have a green screen in my office. This is just one of the color walls of our children's ministry that we have. And I'm actually on the green screen, kind of like the weather channel. You know, storms are coming over here. You got a cold front coming into the west. It's not doing anything, but hey, it's pretty cool. So like I said, all right, we're about to play mystery, missions mystery review game here very shortly. And I have two assistants here. Princess Unicorn and Miss Jamie are going to be my helpers, and I need the audience to tell me what letters are going to be behind oh, these okay. words. So, oh, you know, turn the camera around. There's my two helpers. They're waving. So we're going to come here and start to the first clue. <clears throat> if you were here paid last week, if you're here last week, you knew what the question was, but I'll read the question again. And what I need my audience to do is you start giving me some letters, and I'll have Miss Jamie and Princess Unicorn flip them over for us, all right? So the first question I asked last week was this. This is the answer to the question. See if you can figure out what we're talking about. Every dollar given to train and resource thousands of missionaries involved in church planning and compassion ministries who share life-transforming gospel of Jesus Christ across the United States, Canada, and their territories. What am I talking about? We need some letters now. What, what, am I, what was I talking about in that question? Need some people to guess some letters. <clears throat> need some need some letter guesses. Where are they gonna guess the letter? A. So right, we got an A. All right, there's a little hint. We got an A. Oh, there's another A. All right. <clears throat> so there's our two two letters. We got A. Does anybody guess what it is? A little help from the audience. All right. How about we try an R? R. That would be easy one. And right here. Can I get two? Two. Yeah. 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 Two.
Does anybody, does anybody see what we're doing? Anybody know what it is yet? Give me some letters. No one's guessing any letters. They're all watching, but I don't have any letter guesses. <clears throat> what about a S? All right. What about a N? What about a E? All right, we got A, N, N. There's the letter E. Riley's here, let me help Riley really out here. All right, what about a M? All right. Yes, that is correct. It's Annie Armstrong. That is what we'll be talking about for yes. the next couple of days. Now it's numbers. Can I tell them something? Can I solve for a trip to Hawaii? <laughs> All right. So, first thing we talked about was Annie Armstrong. Now we're going to come over here to question number two. There is numbers and letters, okay? All right. So, this one is, what is Canaan's Annie Armstrong goal? All right, any guesses? Numbers? Letters? No, there's no letters in this one. This is all numbers. <laughs> there's letters on this row. This isn't Canaan. This one. Come down here. This is Canaan. All right, what is Canaan's Annie Armstrong goal? This is going to require some numbers, so we need to go and get some help. It's all numbers. You know they can see a little bit of paper. You got any guesses coming out there? What about you guess one? How about a zero? <clears throat> All right, we got one zero. Zero. All right. Let's see if anybody else can guess what number that is. <clears throat> this is the Canaan Annie Armstrong Easter offering goal for 2020. I'm gonna wait for a couple more for, for a couple more minutes for some guesses. Oh, no. I can't do that. Hold on. We got waiting for some guesses. If you're researching, I'll give you a hint that it's in the PDF file on a comment on Facebook. It have your copy of the bulletin. The Canaan Annie Armstrong Easter Offering Goal. <gasps> I know. Oh, we got it. What? All right. What is it? Miss Sarah was the first one, and she said 10,000. 10,000, yes. The Canaan wow. Annie Armstrong Easter Offering Goal for 2020 okay, is $10,000. Thousand dollars. Now let's go to the Annie Armstrong Easter Offering National Goal. This is a goal from across the United States. Across from the United States, this is the national goal for the Canaan or for the Annie Armstrong Easter Offering. What is the national? This is the 
what is the national goal for the Canaan for the Annie Armstrong Easter offering? Any guesses? Annie, you get one, Daddy. How about a uh, O? <clears throat> All right, we'll wait a couple more minutes for some people, some guesses. This is the national goal for Annie Armstrong Easter offering. The national the national goal for the Annie Armstrong Easter offering. Uh, Miss Sarah guessed a seven. Sarah has guessed a seven. All right, so we have a 70 up top, but what is it? 70. <laughs> 70 something. Remember, Canaan's goal okay, is. 70, so what's the bottom word? What's the bottom word? Canaan's Annie Armstrong goal is 10,000. Was the national goal for Annie Armstrong Easter offering? That should help them. That should help some people. So, what is the national? What is the national goal for the Annie Armstrong Easter offering? Million. Yes, the national goal. For the Canaan, for the national goal for the Annie Armstrong Easter offering is seventy million dollars, yeah. and all that goes towards the Annie Armstrong Easter offering, and all that money, that seventy million that we'll collect this year nationally, that goes with the ten thousand on top. Ten thousand is part of that seventy million that Canaan raised. That will go towards missionaries to do their work across. Amer across North America, so we're proud just, uh, that that all that money goes towards that. Now, the Annie Armstrong Easter offering for 2020 has a theme for the Annie Armstrong Easter offering. The theme is what? That was one of the questions from last week. What is the 2020 theme for the Annie Armstrong Easter offering? You gotta get some letters. Get the letter. Can I just get some letters? <clears throat> Alright, we got a P. Any other letter guessing going on out there? Um, uh, we got a G and a P. And an S. And an S. <clears throat> got an S. Um, a. Right, hold on. Got S's S's S's. and an A. All right. The 2020 theme for the Annie Armstrong Easter offering. Oh, All right, here we go. A. All right, we got an A. M. M. No M. No M's. Yep, we got a T, two T's, right? Uh, There's one T. T. All right. Can I get an L or an I, Kathy? Oh, we got an L. We'll go with L. All right, we got an L. We'll Let's L. see, we got... All right. Does anybody know what it is? The 2020 theme for the Annie Armstrong Easter offering. The 2020 theme for the Annie Armstrong Easter offering. Yeah, got some E's. Yeah, turn the E's. All right. Well, we got two E's. Letters. Y'all 
have to go in and out <clears> all of this to get y'all's letters. Oh. All right, we're still waiting. On. We're still waiting for some letters. Rayleigh guessed the O. We got the L. Katie, you got L. A. Katie, you got L. 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 <clears throat> Blank all gospel. All right, so blank all something something gospel. The twenty. Oh, we got a U. We got the U. All right, so it's all about the. Gospel. The 2020 theme for the Annie Armstrong Easter offering this year has been is about. It's all about the gospel. All right. The final question is four little pieces of paper all down here in the hallway, all by itself. It is the year that they officially name the Easter offering after Miss Annie Armstrong, and it's all numbers. So. I need some numbers thrown out here. One. All right, we got a one. <clears throat> All right, I need another number. One. Nine. Nine. Let's see. Oh. Five. No five. Do we have five? No five. So one nine. All right. Refresh again. Three. Three. We got three. All right. One more number. Let's see if we can get it. Refresh again. Sorry for the technical difficulties, guys. No, not a two. No two. One, nine, three. No, not a nine. I know what it is. Four. Four. Who, get, who gets the four? Sarah. <clears throat> All right. So. Good job, Sarah. All right. So, Miss a the Annie Armstrong Easter offering was named in honor of her in 1934. So, let's go over the answers again. The Annie Armstrong Easter offering was named after Miss Annie Armstrong in 1934. The Canaan Annie Armstrong Easter offering goal is $10,000. The 2020 theme for the Annie Armstrong Easter offering is, It's All About the Gospel. And then the Annie Armstrong national goal is $70 million. And then all we're talking about this month through the month of um, March, and of course continue to talk about her, is Miss Annie Armstrong, who we're, uh, all this money that we're raising will go to help missionaries. Well, now we're going to transition from missions to message. And this time, Miss Rayleigh is going to challenge us Miss Rayleigh is going to challenge Miss Jamie and Brother Chuck to a little Bible drill challenge. And I'm going to challenge the parents. Here's where we're going to have some fun with this. Rayleigh is going to hold up some flashcards for us. And Miss Jamie and I got to find the book of the Bible and name the book before. Well, the book of the Bible, the book before, and the book after. But here's where I challenge you parents. This is where I want you guys to go and do this at home and take a video of you and your kids challenging each other to find the books of the Bible and just have some fun with this to get you guys to have some excitement to study God's Word together and look at the books of the Bible and study the book before and the book after, afterwards. Rayleigh's going to be hidden behind the camera, and she's going to be holding up flashcards and some books, and Ms. Jamie and I are going to be challenged. We're going to have our Bible. We'll have to stand at attention. Had to stand at attention, and we'll have to find the book of the Bible. And we'll find the book of the Bible, and we'll have to step forward and say the book, the book before, the book after, as we move forward. So, and like I said, I'm going to challenge you guys as families and parents to video yourselves 
practice some Bible drill at home and have some fun with it, and we'll get started. So I'm going to set the camera up here in a minute. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see us. All right, everybody see Miss Jamie? She's over there by herself. She has her Bible. All right, I'm gonna come. Miss Rayleigh, can you see us both? Yep. All right, Miss Rayleigh, start us off. All right. Start. It's this book, everybody. Mark, everybody. Mark. Matthew, Mark, Luke. Yep. Mark, Mark. Mark. Good job. Good job. Uh, there's. We already did Genesis. We already did Galatians. Oh. Alright. Start. Genesis. Your time. Genesis, Exodus, Genesis. Good job. So, we, like I said, we are just having some fun. Hopefully, you guys can get on the video and send us a clip of you and your family doing Bible drills together. Still remember our Annie Armstrong Easter offering and how that money is going towards the missionaries to help our missionaries do missions and missions work. And hope you guys are still practicing your Bible drill. Like I said, submit those videos. You can either email me those videos at cdunning at canaanbaptist.net. Or we'd be fine to post them here on our Canaan Facebook page for Canaan Children's Ministry Facebook page about your videos of you guys practicing for Bible drill, challenging each other to find the books of the Bible. I'm a little slower than Miss Jamie, but hey, you know, it's okay. We're having fun. Rayleigh's starting to learn, do a little better job of it as well. And just appreciate you guys tuning into our live. I hope you guys be practicing at home. Don't forget to continue to pray for our missionaries. And I'm going to give... Princess, uh, Unicorn Princess Rayleigh and Miss Jamie, one more time to say goodbye to everybody. And like I say, we love you guys, miss you guys, continue to study guys' work, continue to use Bible drill, submit those videos, and looking forward to seeing you guys soon. And there's, they say, see you guys later. Bye. Bye.